Welcome to Label Resizer. In this video, you'll learn how to use the Add Separator feature in Label Resizer, a quick way to separate product groups and reduce labeling errors. Let's start by navigating to the Product Label Settings page. First, select your label size based on the label type you're using. Then, scroll down to find the Add Separator option and enable it. Once enabled, you'll see a new drop-down to choose the separator type. Let's go through each one and generate a sample label for better understanding. Let's start by selecting Preve Next Separator. This option inserts a separator label between each product group. The separator includes information about the previous product and quantity, as well as the next product and quantity, making transitions clear and easy to track. Next. Let's select the page break separator and generate a sample. If a product's labels end mid-page, the next product will start on a new page, ensuring a clean break. This option is only available for paper or sticker type labels. Now, choose header with custom text and create another sample label. This option adds a custom text label before each product group. Unlike the previous types, you can define the exact text that appears on the separator. I'll show you how to set that text in the next part of the video. We'll now generate labels directly from Amazon Seller Central using the Chrome extension. First, because I'm using thermal labels, I'll update my label size accordingly. Now, let's switch to Amazon Seller Central. Since the extension is installed, you'll see Label Resizer buttons on the page. But first, let's click the standard Amazon Print button to see the default labels. As you can see, it's not always clear where one product ends and the next begins, which makes it easy to mix things up during packing. Now, let's click the Label Resizer button instead. Since we chose header with custom text, a pop-up asks for the text shown before each product. Let's leave it blank and click Resize Labels. Since we didn't enter anything, the separator label simply shows the product's fin skew. Now let's click the Print button again. This time, we'll copy each product's merchant skew into the separator text field. As you can see, each product group now starts with a label showing the corresponding merchant skew. Let's now look at how to use Resize from PDF. First, go to the Resize from PDF page in Label Resizer. Then, upload the product label file you previously downloaded from Amazon. Products are detected automatically, and since Remember My Entries was checked, the pop-up shows the saved separator text values. Now, let's clear the separator fields. I can enter a different separator text for each product, or use the separator text for all field to apply them in bulk. If I paste text with line breaks, each line is applied to the matching product. Now click Resize Labels, and just like before, your labels with separators are generated instantly. Lastly, let's use the Generate via Spreadsheet method. Go to the Generate via Spreadsheet page in Label Resizer, Download the product template and open it. Enter your product information and label quantities into the file. Since we're using header with custom text as the separator type, add your desired text under the separator text column. For other separator types, you can leave that column blank or any value you enter will be ignored. Now let's upload the template we just saved. Our labels have now been generated from the spreadsheet template, with custom separator text supplied, just like in the previous methods. And that's it! The Add Separator feature gives you more control and clarity when labeling multiple products. Whether you're printing from Seller Central, a PDF, or a spreadsheet. Label Resizer. Custom labels made simple.